I think we all have to make clear to Russia that the cost of any kind of incursion into Ukraine would be as high for Russia as it would be for Ukraine. And it would be a high cost for Ukraine. I've lived here now two and a half years. I have come to know and love a lot of Ukrainian people who I know have it within them to stand up for their country. And nobody, nobody wants to see people lose their lives in another conflict. Uh, and we don't want to see Russian lives lost either. And there will be a lot because of that commitment to fight. So we want people not to be in a position where they feel they have to do that. That's the first thing then, to represent the costs to Russia, which I am not sure are entirely understood, even by the top of their administration. I'm not sure that's fully understood. The next thing then is to demonstrate unity. The international community needs to show that there is no disagreement here in terms of what we are seeing and what Russia needs to do. And again, I think that has been really good uh, inside NATO and actually bilaterally between the US, UK and others who have been engaging France, for example, um, that we have all been talking very closely about what needs to be done. And then thirdly, inside Ukraine, that unity goes to for the, for the administration and for opposition uh, politicians and parties inside Ukraine. This really is a time for national unity. It seems to me, as I said before, that unity is the strongest weapon everybody has. And in fact, the more Russia threatens, the more unity there is. So if you can see the international unity reflected by unity inside the country, it becomes very, very difficult then to find a vulnerability and exploit it.